Wet the leaf areas with clean water and then drop in colour and watch it spread organically over the surface. Start with a light wash of pure yellow, yellow orange and transparent red deep to map out the colours. It is easier to add more colour than it is to take it out. Continue to build up the colour and introduce green to some of the leaves. Work around the other leaves. Try and avoid the leaves next to each other if you do not want these to bleed into one another. Observe details like a few deep purple berries and the small budding flowers. Use a negative painted technique to paint the dark areas behind the lighter sections. This can be tricky, but offers an effective way of creating lights and darks. A mix of the Helio Green and the Quinacridone Purple make a perfect shadow colour. You can jump around the painting, allowing the earlier paint to dry. You don't need to paint it all in one sitting like I did. Break it into smaller sessions if you like. Don't forget, nobody else knows what the original source photo looks like, so you don't have to follow it too closely. Keep adding more layers to get the level of depth that you're happy with, but not too many or the painting may end up muddy. Use a damp brush to glaze over and blend some of the background colours to push the leaves in front forwards. Add the final details like the veins and any additional dark areas. And there we have our finished painting.